Is being attractive and a nice guy a red flag? Because, oh god, I have a better chance at finding water in the Sahara than finding someone. Do I really gotta be more toxic to get some attention? I love how they say more toxic. <laughs> like, I'm already pretty toxic, but I might have to start being a little more toxic. <laughs> Maybe that's what I need to do. I think that's the funniest thought process ever. I'm having trouble in the dating scene. Maybe the issue is I need to be more toxic. <laughs> how does that make any sense? I love how they automatically go to, oh, well, I must be too nice. <laughs> like, that's never the issue, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm just too good of a guy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm too perfect. It's a beautiful morning today and a beautiful morning for some more nice guys. I've missed this subreddit. Even though we make a video on here like every couple of days, <laughs> I still miss it somehow. I think this subreddit will always be my favorite no matter what. And I feel like it'll always be the channel favorite as well. I still remember when the first nice guy video got like a few thousand views. I completely lost my mind. <laughs> I was like, Oh my god, oh my god, here we go. Vincey is going worldwide, baby. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and I hope you are as well. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Am I the a-hole for being upset with my friend because she let many guys smash after their first meet <laughs> and didn't let me? Oh, um, here we go. Before, she'd often told me about those guys that she'd met on apps or in class clubs and that she'd usually put out for them during their first time meeting. Later she told me she had liked me for a while and if I wanted to go out with her to which I agreed. The only problem is after our meet at the restaurant I asked her if she wanted to come up with me to my place and she said that she didn't think it was a good idea but maybe in the future. I've been really upset with her ever since she'd let random guys do her oh my god <laughs> let random random guys do her, but me, who was always there for her, is apparently not worth that. And she claims that I only care about one thing, and says that she didn't think I'd be like that. Am I the a-hole? Yeah, but you can't blame them for thinking that, because that's pretty much what's going on here, isn't it? She claims that I only care about one thing. Well, you kinda are only going on about that one thing. <laughs> so you can't blame them. God, females and letting other guys do them. <laughs> and not me. I can't believe I took somebody to a restaurant and they didn't sleep with me. <laughs> it is so unfair. For real though, the other person didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they know that. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. Oh, you don't gotta reply if you don't want to. Oh. Okay, here it goes. When you get back, do you want to maybe go to dinner with me? like as a date. It's okay if the answer is no. I'm cool with it. I just figured I may as well shoot my shot. No. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you knew this already but I'm kind of already seeing someone else right now. Is it so-and-so? And it says his best friend. Well, yeah, lol. I'm sorry. I really thought you already knew. He says that you guys aren't dating. I mean, it's not anything serious, LMAO, but it'd be a little awkward to go out with you while I'm also seeing him. Either way, I'm really sorry if you got the wrong impression. Yeah, but is it not awkward that you're seeing him while he's also linking with so-and-so? And plus, you're home now, so it's not like you two are going anywhere. I'm sure he'll understand. Um, I don't know what you've heard, but he's definitely not linking with so-and-so, LMAO. She has a boyfriend. And I'm pretty sure there's a difference between that and you dating 
someone who was with your best friend. I like hanging out with you, but I'm not really interested in being more than friends. Sorry. Oh, because of so-and-so? Lol. No, I just rather remain friends if that's okay. Yeah, and they're not even gonna be that. <laughs> if it keeps going like this. IJS. What does that mean? IJS, I treat you way better than so-and-so. I know how he is with girls, and he's never going to want anything serious. He's got at least a five sneaky links besides you. Yeah, cool. Like I said, we're not exclusive or serious or anything. So that doesn't really matter, to be honest. And I really don't want to talk about this anymore. You said you'd be cool with remaining friends, and that's what I'd like to do. Oh, suit yourself. Don't come crying when he plays you. Bruh. I wouldn't want STDs anyway. Oh, Jesus, dude. I'm ending this convo now. Yeah, wow. And completely threw their friend under the bus as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come to me crying when he plays you. I'm pretty sure they're not going to. <laughs> I'm honestly giving up on dating apps. I thought I had it all planned out, but it turned to be futile. <laughs> oh my God, why was that so funny? I thought I had it all planned out, but turned to be futile. <laughs> my evil plan has become futile. I haven't been a hit on a dating app for the past four years. I never had you know what at university because a lot of females couldn't understand me and they preferred the more woke and physically attractive guys who were like six foot because they have the upper hand in the dating market. So today I devised a master plan. <laughs> oh, here we go. I set all of my pictures as a chad and walked away for about 24 hours before doing any swipes. I changed all of my pictures to myself, including changing the bio, because a smart female would catch on too quickly. I did that with Tinder and Bumble. I matched with well over 200 females, and guess what? None wanted to talk to me. And these women that swiped a ride on me had the most perfect body for love making <laughs> they now going to waste their birth years with Chad while a nice and stable guy like me has to cry again. Yeah I think this one's a little bit too on the nose isn't it? You know like it's six foot because they have the upper hand in the dating market. I set my pictures to a Chad calling women females. They have the perfect body for love making wasting their birth years and then after all that they have the audacity <laughs> to say that they're nice and stable after they're literally talking about catfishing women. Yeah, to be honest, I'm just too nice and too stable. <laughs> Why can't I be a six foot Chad that's attractive in the dating market? I feel like this one is a little bit too good to be true, but at the same time, it probably is real. Please stop sending men long paragraphs after they hurt you. They don't care and nothing you say will guilt trip them into caring. Take your dignity and go. Yeah, but the right man will, but you won't be with that one because you know they will. You'll pick the attractive a-hole and then complain who can always get another. Yeah, it's always the attractive a-hole, isn't it? All these tall and handsome men. <laughs> They're ruining everything. Wait until people realize that it's not all about being beautiful on the outside, but you also have to be beautiful on the inside. Mind blown. <laughs> I hope your Wednesday hasn't sucked. Lol, it was fine. Did yours suck? Not at all. I was just trying to make someone else's better. Won't be happening again. Oh my god, bro, get out of here. Don't act like you saying, I hope your Wednesday hasn't sucked is like gonna completely make somebody's day. Do Dude, <laughs> so passive aggressive. Won't be happening again. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I won't be telling you. I hope you have a nice day. Pretty self-explanatory. Lol, I see. Are you doing all right? Better than you without question. Why are they so angry? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh my God, they're so angry for no reason. Is everything okay? Obviously not, but then they said, no, better than you without question. Yeah, somehow I don't believe
believe that. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> I love you very much. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you? Oh, okay. What's the point of liking me, lol? Not that I care, but get lost a time waster. I'm not here for that. Pretty weird if you ask me. So many odd women on this site. Dude, it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> I would have talked to you, but with this attitude, it turned me off. Have a good one. Lol, I was just being nice to you. I wasn't actually interested in you. I test some of you. But please a freaking unmatch me so I don't have to see you pop up anymore. This site has some odd women for sure. My name is Anthony, by the way. Not dude, lol. Wow, the audacity. <laughs> like, they didn't respond for 20 minutes and they react like this. Call me crazy, but I feel like that's not a very good sign. Like, if you get this upset because somebody doesn't reply within 20 minutes, I feel like that's not very good. <laughs> like, at all. Oh, so many odd women on here. <laughs> How dare you not respond to me after 20 minutes? I get business emails, and then I get business follow-up emails, and they're like, hey, Vinci, I am sorry I haven't heard from you and I'm never gonna get back to those emails you know I know it's a very different situation but what I'm trying to say is you should not expect people to respond all the time like they could have just been taking a shower you know, when you finally meet a man who has goals, isn't full of himself, asks you out at 12pm, not 12am, and talks about his feelings, I like you as a friend. Ha 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 ha. Hashtag nice guys. Yeah, I must have been nice to you. Ha ha. Yeah, bold to assume that we're friends. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I shouldn't laugh, but it's pretty pretty funny. Story time. I asked a girl that I like out. The usual thing happened. She rejected me. I heard rumors from her friend saying that she said I was too nice. In return, I fixed my style and my life up. And a year later, she came to me. I said yes and then didn't give her any attention and cheated on her. I bet that beach can't swear on TikTok comments. <laughs> Would have preferred the nice guy now. Yeah, that didn't happen, did it? <laughs> like, nobody is gonna say that somebody else is too nice. Like, that's never gonna be the issue. <laughs> and I feel like if somebody did say that, that's not really what they meant. And they're just saying that because they don't actually want to say what they mean. Like, yeah, you're just too nice. <laughs> you're too nice to me. You treat me too well. Like, obviously, I'm trying to be positive and optimistic, but I don't think this actually happened. Hi, would you be interested in getting paid to receive a massage? <laughs> Lol, that doesn't sound safe. I'm a nice guy, though. Oh, good. <laughs> that makes me feel much better about this situation. Also, that's totally what you say if you're not nice. Like, oh, don't worry, I'm a nice person. Dude, <laughs> that makes it way scarier. Also, wait a second, did they say... Get, yeah, they did. Getting paid to receive a massage. So what, they want to massage somebody and pay them for it? Hey, can I rub your back and give you some money? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Let's be real for a sec. The good guy who's gonna treat you right and cherish you forever <laughs> is in front of you. But you're on here looking for the guy that'll treat you like crap and kick your ass to the curb when he's done with ya. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I think we've reached that part of the video. You know that part of the video where we don't read any more nice guys? Yeah, I think I'm at that point. <laughs> oh, what are you guys up to? We're combining our artistic talents. Oh, <laughs> look at our little flowers. They're so cute. Honestly, 
Beautiful. <laughs> I'd hang that up on my wall in a heartbeat. Why are you crying? I can't really pinpoint a reason. It's just something that happens to me. I love you. <laughs> That's way too cute. <laughs> That's way too nice after what we've read. Just a peachy comics. That's so sweet. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm always here for you. It's easy to always want to show up for everyone else, but it's really really important to show up for yourself as well. Oh yeah, 100%. And if you're looking after yourself, you can look after other people even better as well. And on that beautiful note, I'm gonna leave today's video here, guys. That was so fun. And if you enjoyed, you know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the comment of the day today goes to Toby Miranda. Being able to see your disgust is amazing. It feels like I'm right next to you going through this roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And that's what I like about it. It actually feels like we're together right now. And for some reason, that makes the videos more fun and also easier to make. Like before, without the face cam, it felt a little bit more disconnected. And I really like this now. It's so much better. And it makes me really happy that you guys like it as well. And yeah, just all all around thank you for all the support guys like the channel is doing so well and on that note have a beautiful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video okay bye